Welcome back to SmackDown Live, where it appears Shane McMahon is now trying to sort out last week's U.S. title mess. I was this close to defeating you last week before Bobby Roode attacked me on your behalf. I don't know what you're talking about. He, he tripped on his robe, remember? But we're getting off track. My point is I was going to pin you, but then I still won by disqualification, so I should be the number one contender for the US title. Don't take too long. I wouldn't want any other accidents to happen. I know a lot of guys are claiming they deserve a shot at your US title, but if anyone really does, it's me. Technically, the masked attacker had a US title shot. Sami Zayn did not. Really? Who else is going to get a US title match before me? KO? Sammy, the janitor? The makeup lady? Tom freaking Phillips? At some point? It should have happened weeks ago, but since it didn't, it needs to happen tonight. We've been waiting a long time for this. The championship is up for grabs right here next. We have one of the best talents on the roster today, taking on some tough competition. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the United States Championship. It's one of the hottest superstars in WWE, Buzz! I caught up with Buzz earlier today and he told me about the time he skipped school to attend a WWE event. That's how passionate he was. It still is about sports entertainment when he said he skipped school. Did he mean all of it? I mean, that's the vibe I got. Go 
through this. I've been practicing all week. You haven't gotten any better. This is all the makings of a legendary night. here you can feel the electricity running through this arena this is going to be some battle one-on-one -on -one, mano a mano Bobby oh, Roode man. looking good tonight truly worthy of the expensive robes he wears to the ring I can't believe I'm agreeing with a guy who shops at Suit City but if these were fashion competitions his opponents would have already lost to the floor. We've seen champions head into matches maybe a little too confident, only to be picked off in the end. And guys, I can't help but wonder if we're going to see that again here tonight. He lands the punch. The challenger's taking on some offense. To be expected, though, it's not like he's in there with a slouch, guys. Well, this certainly escalated in a hurry. I don't think any of us expected to see him fall behind so quickly. Ooh. Speaking of champions, heading into matches a bit overconfident, one of the most glaring examples of that would have to be the honky-tonk man's attitude heading into his Intercontinental Championship defense at SummerSlam 1988. We all know what happened to him on that night. <laughs> you are so right, Michael. That was great, of course, though. It wasn't so great for the Honky Tonk Man, who ended up losing this championship to the Ultimate Warrior in fewer than 30 seconds. Guys, in a title match like this one, on a stage as big as the one we're on now, you have to wonder how much nerves will become a factor. And a lethal clothesline. Clothesline in the corner. 
Down he goes. That'll do it every time. Digging deep for a kick out. Too soon. Circling back to your earlier point, Corey, you have to think nerves will play a big part in this match, which I think favors the champion, especially considering how many times the champ's been in big-time matches like this. I'd agree. The champ is used to the bright lights and bright stage. Dare I say, it's almost second nature at this point. Nicely executed. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. When this guy's on, look nice. out. As we say in the trade, guys, the monitor area in the locker room is likely sold out for this one, as there are plenty of superstars with a vested interest in the outcome of this match. Bobby Roode setting it through with an earth-shattering spine buster. That was glorious. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. The win is within grasp for Bobby Roode. To Byron's point, there are several competitors on the roster who can make a case for being the next in line for a title opportunity. However, a lot of that, of course. Bobby Roode setting it up. Hallelujah. One move after the other. It's devastating. So Bobby Roode might get an early three count. Buzz with the easy kick out. That's all right, Cole. Oh, I think this man means business. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. What, is, what a close line. And the odds just... He hits it. Bobby Roode looks to be in trouble. Wait a minute. Buzz might be in trouble now, too. We should have known these two would get involved. Oh, my God. Taking an advantage. Uh -oh. What the... What? Yes. Oh, Pop -up. No. And... Power these guys are a black eye on SmackDown Live. Yeah, I agree. They're tarnishing everything the United States title stands for. For as talented as Owens and Zayn are, they're every bit a disgrace. Well, hopefully we get some kind of resolution to this next week because it definitely didn't happen tonight. Welcome to SmackDown Live, where the United States Champion is about to address the WWE Universe. And luckily, it looks like Buzz was able to get his title back after last week's shenanigans. Right, wait, wait, wait. Did you just say shenanigans? Yeah, oh, what's wrong with that? My time as United States Champion hasn't quite gone as I planned, to say the least. I wanted to defend the title and give you hard-fought, competitive, and fair matches every week, but that's been impossible lately thanks to Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Bobby Roode. That's why I'm out here to say... I'm tired of the constant interference and everyone thinking they deserve a US title shot. So I'm proposing that Kevin Owens and Bobby Roode settle it in the ring to see who the real number one contender is. Oh, and one more thing. I'll be at ringside to make sure Sami Zayn doesn't affect the outcome of this match in any way, shape, or form. The United States Champion has weighed in on how he thinks this tumultuous situation should be settled. Let's see if Daniel Bryan agrees with him. Thank you for saying what needed to be said. In recent weeks, through no fault of your own, the United States title has been dragged through the mud by your opponent. So I'm backing your decision and making it official. Triple H on SmackDown? What's he doing here? I don't know. I just have a feeling he didn't stop by just to say hi. I know you're still relatively new to WWE, Buzz, so let me fill you in on something. You may have gotten lucky by winning the U.S. title, but that doesn't mean you get to call the shots around here. I call the shots. 
Um, Hunter, can we talk about that for a second? Because last time I checked, your brother-in-law Shane and I are in charge of SmackDown, not you. So actually, we call the shots. Ooh, this is getting good. Shut up and listen to what I'm about to say because it is a lesson that you and everyone else needs to learn. I have influence far greater than anything you could imagine. Whatever I say goes. No questions asked. I say build it and it's how fast do you need it. I say make the match and the only questions are when and where. I say fire someone and WWE wishes them luck in their future endeavors. All anyone else has is the illusion of power. You call the shots because I let you call the shots. Now, if you have a problem with any of that, I can make one call and you'll be struggling to put food on your family's table. You need us. We don't need you. Are we clear? Yeah, we're clear. Good. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, the US title picture. I have a better idea for how to settle all of this. At Money in the Bank, you won't even need to be pinned to lose your US title. Because it's gonna be a fatal four-way match of you versus Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Bobby Roode. Breaking news. I told you. At Money in the Bank. I'd never forget what you did. We're gonna have a new champion. 